Sometimes okay. I, it gets to... Go ahead. When I, sometimes when I play a game and it gets to a point where I feel like I need to look it up online, I, it it's kind of ruins it a bit for me. Unless I'm really invested in the game, I, I, I don't usually try and look up... Uh, I... When I was a kid, whenever I got stuck, I didn't mind looking up a strategy guide. In fact, I always wanted to have the ability to look it up. But then I was yeah. told that if I did it, it was cheating. Hey, like, the only strategy guides I remember getting as a kid was for, like, Pokemon and... Ocarina yeah, pretty much just Pokemon. Oh, I got the the, uh, the double one for Wind Waker and Ocarina of Time when I pre-ordered Wind Waker as a kid. Mm -hmm. And uh, I... I still had the fucking guide as I went through the fucking water temple in the GameCube release of Ocarina of Time, and I couldn't beat it. No, I remember you saying because that, and nobody, nobody likes the water temple. It is so fundamentally flawed that if you fuck up too many times on it, you have to start the game completely over from scratch. You mean the dungeon? No, the game. How? Because the water level will be set and you won't be able to make it go up or down or anything and you'll, you won't be able to beat the dungeon, so you won't be able to beat the game. You mean like you have to reset the game or something? Yeah, you have to replay oh, okay. the game. Because I was going to say for a second, like, wait a second, are you telling me that you would have to start a whole new file or something? Yep. Wait, well, I just asked you yeah. if you had to reset the game. Yeah, said, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Whole thing, all over again. All Pretty over again. again. Okay, no that is... Okay, no, no. Th that that can't be Indeed. right. I can confirm. I used a fucking strategy guide with it. I still ended up that way. I must have been one of the lucky ones then, because trying to figure out where to go and what to do... Like, I used an online strategy guide, because I'm more used to, like, visuals explaining things to me than having just a block of text. No, when I meant, like, reset the game, I mean, like, literally hit the reset button. No, like, you, no, you have to start the game from scratch, basically. That's fucking retarded. That is... The game shouldn't be out like that. I... I know they made it easier in the remake, which is why I wish they would just port the DS remake over to the Switch, please, so I could have that version to have the Water Temple be a little bit easier, maybe? Just a squish, just a little snitch, snitch, whatever. Yeah. Because, I mean, I love the Zelda series. It's... All right, trying to face Bowser. Go home, gay Bowser. <laughs> so long, gay Bowser. I remember that, like, if you don't have all the stars, you go up the um, the stairwell and it just goes out, like, goes on and on. Uh, here we I are. Moment of showdown. Oh. Freaked out by that. Never mind. Wow. So, Especially since I was the kind of person oh. who just played games and didn't actually try to complete them, so I didn't know what I was doing, what anything was about. Well. So the staircase was like just really creepy. I, I love how you're like, okay, guys, here we go. Walks five feet and dies. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> <laughs> da 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 da. Da da. <laughs> it's on a banana peels and dies. <laughs> I'm so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> now, what were we talking about? Uh, let this be a moment Pete. that this is just another epic fail that I had. Alright, guys, we're going to do it. We're going to beat Bowser. We're going and to we're fly. going to do it right now. Ah! Game over. <laughs> See, I blinked and it was over. <laughs> you say game over, but instead it's game over, yeah! God, I, oh, I remember so, just the same thing. So, like, not gonna lie, N64 was probably the system I used the least as a kid because I only had like three or four games for it. And that were like Mario 64, some NASCAR game, 
and Buck Bumble. If anybody remembers fucking Buck Bumble. The no, fuck, fuck am I hearing? Bumble. It was just too mumbly for me to know what the lyrics are. Uh, I, let me get it. <laughs> yeah, the Buck Bumble. Fuck off. Caveman Death Metal. Band called Bunked. Caveman Hardcore Band called Bunked. <laughs> okay, when you said ca when you said ga Caveman Death Metal, my brain defaulted to Is that another one of those fake genres that Aeon shows us sometimes? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it was real. No, how would you define Caveman music? It, 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 I would imagine it'd probably just be a bunch of people make playing instruments actually made out of rock probably let's say Ow! the repercussions of the use a fucking slab of concrete and it's, and the vocals would just be a guy doing ook, 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 ook. <laughs> I was trying to think of a less so, stereotyped version but you're right yeah, so probably. not gonna lie I would leave the uh, the men the start menu open on my copy of Buck Bumble as a kid just to listen to the music. A video game soundtracks rock. I mean, the Buck Bumble theme just slaps, man. You know, it's one of those things uh, like soundtracks that I like, but I know the game is not very good. What the Sega CD version? Of Echo the Dolphin. Oh shit! That was a close one. Oh. Huh. It's very atmosphere driven. Isn't it like. Isn't that the one that uh, Angry B uh, AVGN covered? Yes, he shot on the dolphin. That's oh. right. I remember playing I like the 3D game version. Like, wasn't there like a feet 3D game on like PS2 or Dreamcast or something? It was on the Dreamcast. And. From what I've heard, it was boring. I saw the uh the Johnny review, the Some Called Me Johnny review. He had like yeah. he he had he was traumatized by that game. And honestly, I don't blame him because the way the game starts, it tells like you swim around as a dolphin and then you jump as high as you can because somebody told you that. And then all of a sudden everything gets sucked into a vortex and you're all alone. Like, what the fuck happened? Like, the game, like, it had a pretty dark turn. Uh but the big issue with the game is that Aside from how cryptic it was, you, um, aside from a health meter that you have, you'll also have an air meter. You have to resurface yourself. And most of the stages involve going deep underwater. You have to find so many air pockets. It's ridiculous. All right, Bowser. Time to get your ass kicked a third time. Ow. Okay, that was not my intention. Just keep running in circles. You spin me right round, baby. Right round. Right round. round. We. Alright, and. Kingdom Hearts is light. And. Uh, Sorry, gotcha. somebody in the chat asked for it. Chat, come on. Boop. Oh shit. Flames! Flames! No! Damn it! I have clinical depression. Shut up. Was that the fucking dog? Yes. From yeah. oh, Tom and fuck. Jerry? Droopy, gotcha. I think his name Fucker. is. Droopy dog. Okay. Fuck off. I have crippling depression. Damn it, I missed. I have osteoporosis. I have crippling depression. Osteopor <laughs> osteoporosis. <laughs> I, I think, I think the reason. Hey. I think the reason why you associate him with Tom and Jerry because he was in the Tom and Jerry film as like a cameo or something, oh, wasn't God. he? Oh God, that's unfortunate. So. Yeah, Droopy the fucking dog. Of course, I remember. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I still have a soft spot for the 90s Fuck! movie, even if it was surreal hearing them talk. 
and being friends. I mean, well, actually, to be oh, fair, they it. technically are friends. And that being like, very frequently, like, aligned with each other. It just never stays that way. Yeah. I mean, there's a very common belief and... that the only reason Tom chases ah. Barry around all the time is because, quote-unquote, it's so that Jer so that they don't oh, end shit. up getting oh, another fuck. cat. Ah. Oh, another cat to get rid of Jerry or something along those lines. Well, Jerry also seems to like the thrill of the chase a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that that it, it do feel like that a lot. Especially since fifty percent ah, of the time he it. is the inciting incident. Yep. Oh God! No! Jump! 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 jump. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's oh. right, he wasn't Tom and Jerry Kids. The only thing I remember about Tom and Jerry Kids was the fucking theme song. That's about it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Tom and Jerry, Jerry what? Kids. Tom and Jerry Kids. Jerry Kids. Come I mean, on, shit, shit, where shit. all the action is. Watch out, watch out, watch out! I'm going, I'm going, I'm going! I'm going. Get that I mean, it could Wait, be. No, I, I think oh, I no. is, and you know, I wish uh, I, I mean, it oh, could fuck. be worse. Oh, oh no! I mean, it could be worse. Shaggy and Scooby get a clue. Hey, I mean, uh, a pup named Scooby Doo was really good. I love that one. Scooby was good, but apparently Shaggy and Scooby get a clue is considered the worst one. Oh god, was that the one that was like on Kids WB that had them like inheriting like a large mansion, and some shit? Yeah, and it technically didn't even feature the like Fred and the others, it just was Shaggy and Scooby going oh, on like weird adventures. Great job, right? Well, to be idiot. fair, the title's accurate. Still a garbage show, but the title was accurate. Yeah. But then again, I think people will argue, uh, but Be Cool Scooby-Doo is actually worse due to the, well, um... yeah, it's a fucking Family Guy knockoff. It, the animation makes it look like a Family Guy knockoff. Is that the one hmm. where, like, no, because you said that the rest of the gang was in there. It was just Scooby and Shaggy. Yeah, Shaggy and Scooby get a clue. Okay, because there was yeah. one uh, iteration of Scooby-Doo that was so weird that whenever they would go places, they have, like, a fast-cut uh, uh, version where they're, like, getting in the car, driving to the Scooby van in a very, like, in, like, in a snap. It's like one shot, they're buckling up, the next they're driving, the next they're there. Something was really The awesome mystery though. machine, also, yes. I think it was. Which version of, of Scooby was it? Damn it! I don't know what it was called. That's what I mean. It had fast-paced cutting, um, editing. Okay, this should be easy. Just don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Gotcha. See if anybody in the chat knows. Chrissy would know immediately. God, who else? Uh, oh. There goes, hang on. Anyways. Ah. <sighs> what was I going to say? Fuck. Oh. Golden, did you ever remember the Heathcliff show? The Heath what? Heathcliff, Heathcliff. show. Oh! Heathcliff, Heathcliff, no one could terrorize the neighborhood. Like another version of Garfield before Garfield. Damn. The only reason I remember is because of the theme song. Welcome back, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, what a bastard. You're a fucking bastard. No. no. Gotcha. Oh, my God. I'm so close to the edge, dude. Okay. Closer to the edge. And I'm about One to break. Step. Fuck you. I'm about to break. Cause I'm one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break. I'm about to break. I need a little room to breathe. Up to the edge. I'm about to. Chester, break. you were gone too soon, man. You left us behind. You, you okay, didn't okay, have that to was, leave. Okay, that was that was harsh. I'm sorry. All right. Mm. Will I do it? He's right there. The spike crossing balls right fingers, there. crossing fingers, crossing and... fingers. And. Ah, oh, damn. By a little bit. And Jerry kids. 
with all the action. I just fucking I just saw something on Twitter about Halo Infinite saying our Spartan will be in the narrative cutscenes. I fucking hope so. The amount of time I spent this like okay. sorting his armor. Okay. Go again. Out. And ah, oh, so close. Fuck! You have to be so precise. It's ridiculous. I mean, I guess no. that's the challenge. Don't fucking let me on fire, you dirtbag. Ooh. I'll kiss wait, wait, wait. my ass. I fucking grabbed his tail. Nope. I don't think so, buddy. I'll be right back. Okay. Hey. Come on. Come on. Say kiss your ass, but I'm pretty much sure people would squish that rump. Oh my. Damn it! I was way off from there. How long, Gabe Alpha? How long, Gabe Alpha? I, you know what? I wish they would release like a a newer version of uh, Mario sixty four DS. Honestly, be... you remember Mario DS, Mario sixty four DS, right? I have it. You have it? Yeah, I have it somewhere in yeah. my um. Okay. Yeah, I actually do have. I have my DSi shoved in one of my drawers. It's a good game, but it's limited so much because it can only go like eight directions. And it's not like full nice. 3D. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, nice just to reintegrate it, it with the uh, with the Switch. Just call it Mar Mario 64 Switch. Yep. Nope. Yep. Gotcha. He's like, ah, you little fucker. No, oh, well, Star Fox 64 3DS. Oh, yeah, that one. All right. I mean, this one's closer. Let me see if I can get it. Come on, baby. God, you're too There's close to the edge! And I'm about to break. Shut up. <laughs> We're still closer to the edge. Okay, is he gonna tackle? Nope. Okay. Jump. Smash. Jump. Ash. Nope. I'm gonna turn Some down my game a bit because I sound a little loud on your stream. Sorry. No, no, I'm, I'm turning down my game so that I don't sound so loud to you guys. <laughs> Oh, That's my fault, not yours. Damn it! <laughs> Come on! 3D All Stars. Um, no, this is uh, actually. Uh, what? Do, uh, uh, mm, should we nope. elaborate on what this is, Golden? What? What I'm playing? Yeah. This is Mario 64 on the Nintendo 64. Yes, but what are you playing it on? Uh, Project 64. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, oh, yes! Finally! Fuck you! Thank God! I need to download explode? Project 64. No! Shit. It can't be! You really beat me, Mario! I gave these troops power, but now it's fading away! Ugh. I can see peace returning to the world. I can't stand it. It's not over yet. Come on, troops. Let's watch the ending together. Blah, ha, ha. Really? You hate peace restoring, but you're just gonna watch it. That that's that's literally how it ends to you. Uh, okay. Something tells me you secretly do like it, and you just don't want to admit to it. To be honest, he only likes to be beaten because he has fun with it. Oh my. In many ways. <laughs> oh yeah, Golden. Have you tried a um, Mario Odyssey yet? A little bit. For as far as the rest of, of so as, far. <clears throat> as far as the rest of the 3D games go, just haven't been as involved with that. I played a little bit of Sunshine. I don't like that they got rid of the long jump. And I have a feeling I, I don't know, I got used to it pretty fast. I have a feeling that they got rid of the long jump because people were using it to speed run the uh other game. That could just uh, be possibly, me. but I think it had it could also be because they probably Probably felt it would, be, it would be overpowered with like the hover nozzle as well and stuff. So it could be just like, uh, yeah, a limited, limiting effect. Yeah. I mean, you already get a wide variety of places to explore with the hover nozzles, so I can understand them not giving us that much. <laughs> just a, just a, yeah. I 
had so much to drink last night. <laughs> the funny thing is, I think uh, Peach in this game is actually voiced by a Nintendo employee. Probably. Yeah, and yeah if kiss. I remember correctly. This was basically before they got, like, hired voice actors to voice characters, and they would just get people in development to voice the characters. Let's make a delicious make cake delicious. from Mario. Yep, because he's, re he's ready to go for Peach's pussy. <laughs> Gave me the pussy balls. Seems like a good time to renew my Prime sub. And also and I go and, uh, the win. And what you're you, trying Blue to Griffin. say, what about... Yes? What about Charles Martinet as Mario? Well, he was one of the few exceptions that they did hire him as a voice actor to play Mario. Oh, okay. I do like the ending music here. It feels so rewarding so, to hear. I mean, if you're gonna get all the stars, they might as well give you something nice. Let's see. That I fucking eel! Sure uh, Mario... Also, chat, no, I'm not gonna bother getting all 120 castle stars. It's almost ridiculous to do. For a stream, I mean. Why you... What? No, uh, oh, um, I was uh, looking up uh, something to respond. Oh. It could be, w also, chat, it could, could be worse. You could be Gangrums, who basically kind of spent half of the game going, WHAT AM I SUPPOSED TO DO?! <laughs> no, because, like, after Donkey Kong 64, I just don't like bothering to get everything. Because, like, even, like, okay, in Mario 64... I was able to get 120 Castle Stars. In fact, when I got that 3D All-Stars um, by Chrissy, I beat mm -hmm. through this entire game strictly off of collecting all the uh, Castle Stars before fa um, facing Bowser the um, last time. Why am I talking like Porky Pig? Yeah. But if <laughs> I'm going to do a stream of it, I'm not going to bother to collect everything. You know, just go from one end to the other and then just move on to the next yeah, game. Yeah, like... That would just be tedious at that point. Nobody yeah, wants to exactly. watch somebody be frustrated. And do, uh, like, you can do that in your own time if you want between streams, but I, yeah, that's just, yeah. Yeah, and I especially wouldn't want to have to do Donkey Kong 64 because I still couldn't get 100%. Yeah, and with the amount of videos you upload with each uh, playthrough, yeah. <laughs> well, in general, like, because it's a thanks to that game that I felt so isolated from playing games because it was all about getting everything. You know, instead of just playing through the game and just reliving the experience if you wanted to. And there's nothing inherently wrong with collecting things if it's something rewarding. Like, if you're upgrading your character and their abilities, like in Zelda, that's different. Like, that, that actually makes it rewarding. Or in Metroid, when you get new upgrades. Or... Same thing with Mega Man X. We need to get the uh, armor upgrades or blaster upgrades, you know, all, all that shit. And again, that just makes it feel Thanks, more rewarding. Man. There we go. Now I'm setting up Project 64. Okay, to leave your dog in a hot car. Damn. You're welcome, Mario. This game hasn't aged well. Some ways, I still enjoyed playing it, even with the wonky camera controls. You know what? Yeah, I'll give you that. But at the same time, it's like, no, Mario, thank you for bringing me a childhood. Somebody actually typed that down once in the uh, end credit segment. Um, well, like on a YouTube video that showed that. And it was just, it was so cute. Why am I getting so many drop frames? Aww. Oh, All right, well, that's Mario 64. That's the start of a few <laughs> other 3D games that I uh, have yet to stream. But uh, thank you for um, thank you for sticking around. Please clap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was fun. 64 is a, a riot. <laughs>